Hey there, how's it going everybody? So now I want to show you how the email logging solution for a third party tool like Apollo works. Now I use Apollo because they gave me a great discount and it is actually a good tool for logging emails and engaging prospects, etc. So um, let's get into it. So say you have a seat to Apollo. The first thing you have to do is install the Chrome extension. Then you have to link your email box. Now I have a couple emails linked here. That's how it works. Now let me show you an example of what happens when you actually send and receive emails through Gmail and how that links to Salesforce. So here we have this contact, apollo.io, first name, last name, integration, email. This is the email. Now I'm going to go ahead and send an email to this account and you will see how it gets logged. So let's go compose to brendan.mcdonald.cstoolkit.app test email linked Apollo mailbox. This is a test. So now we're showing what happens when an outbound message gets sent from one of your mailboxes and how it shows up in Salesforce. So let's see. So we sent that. Now we refresh this contact. And you'll see here there is an outbound email from Apollo. And that's that. It's here, everything's here. And you can see the subject, so on and so forth. So now that you can see how outbound emails are handled, let's take a look at how inbound emails are handled. So I'm going to go to that mailbox. This was the email that was sent outbound. Now let's see what happens when I reply with an inbound message. Okay. So let's wait for this to populate in my inbox here. Okay, now that we've gotten the reply, let's go ahead and see what it looks like in Salesforce. So if I were to go here and refresh this page, you'll see that this record is now here. Thanks, I got the email, and it's been automatically logged to your CRM, both inbound and outbound, that is. So it's a pretty convenient solution. So now that we received the inbound message, let's see if it got logged in Apollo. So you can see here, this little Salesforce icon shows that it's been logged successfully. And if we go to this page here and refresh it, you'll notice that the, you'll notice that the email has been logged. And it's as simple as that. Now we have a automatically logged email that is working for both inbound and outbound messages, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, I wanna show you one example uh, which you need to be aware of for when emails are not automatically logged, and that would be a scenario in which you receive an email from a contact who you've not previously reached out to or is not in your system, and whether that could be if they got CC'd onto an email or they came in through something like LinkedIn, in that case, you will have to create a contact in your Salesforce and then manually log the email. And once you do that, it should be automated thereafter. So I'll show you an example of that quickly. So I'm going to send an email from a third inbox that I have here to my main email. And you will now notice if I go to my main email, I just received an email here and you'll see here that it's not been logged yet. So if I want to log this email to this correct contact, I have to go ahead and make a new person in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and create a contact. And in order to log that email, I have to go here and click, let's log it to Brendan test, log that email. Now if I were to go and refresh this, you'll see the email now shows up. So this is just something you have to be cautious of. I personally recommend using a zero inbox strategy so that as you go through your inbox, you just make sure that every email has this little blue cloud here, which just guarantees that it's been logged into Salesforce. So this Apollo solution is almost 
fully automated in that it automatically tracks your inbound and outbound emails for known contacts. The main situation where manual intervention is required is when you receive an email or someone is CC'd via email, uh, which is unknown, and that contact doesn't exist in your CRM yet. So that's why I still recommend using a zero inbox strategy to ensure you're logging everything. Uh, but I would still say that this system is much better and faster than Salesforce inbox. So I'm going to leave it at that. And thank you for listening.